Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy that you guys are learning a lot and I'm getting phone calls, you know, from US, from Muscat, the guys who are working in HR field, the guys who are working as geologists, they want to become the data analyst now and uh, they want to learn Excel and uh, they want to learn Python, Tableau and all these tools. So that is great. So uh, let's concentrate on our uh, next video, uh, which I'm going to tell you about the input form, data entry form. Uh, let's say you are working as a data entry operator in some company, and there you have to, you know, insert rows every time when there is a new appointment come or new anything come. So every time, let's say this kind of data you have, I hope my screen is up. So this is the order date, this is the city, this is the employee, code name, age, operational country, mission successful or not, what is the customer ID? I have given some random data so that you can understand it easily that uh, these many rows and these many columns are there. And think about, let's say I am talking only about eight rows, uh, eight columns, but let's say you have like 20 columns and you have to go every time and then double click on this and then write like 10 hyphen, 10 hyphen 2021. So every time you have to do like this, uh, which is very time taking and very cumbersome process, so we have to remove that. We have to uh, you know, make it easy for the data entry operator, at least for the people who are using Excel, who are entering data on a regular basis. So what they have to do, they have to create a form out of it. And Excel can help you in that. So that it will become as a vertical form and you can fill that particular form and the data will be updated automatically. So let's see how, can, how we can do that. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe my channel because I am going to teach Python um, maybe in the next week or maybe next to next week because uh, Excel I'm almost completing. I have completed so many things. Yesterday I have posted a video of pivot table, uh, pivot chart. And uh, so guys, please uh, go and watch that particular video, which is very important. And all the videos basically, which are on Excel. If you do not know anything Excel, just open Excel, uh, uh, you know, play my video, pause my video, do that particular formula and it will help you. And you can learn this. So it's it's a very simple way to learn. Just open my YouTube channels, watch that video and it in the Excel, simple. Okay, now come to this particular point where I said that I have to create one data entry form because every time it is not possible to go here and type everything here in this way. And then let's say tomorrow there is some mistake happened then what will happen? So uh, it, instead of doing mistake, better we will do some you know, uh, shortcut to put a form out of that and fill it simply. And that will be more easy. I'm telling you, this is the cumbersome process to go every time and input the data here. Instead of that, what you have to do, you have to select this particular range and go to format as table. Put it as a table, any table you want. It's in the home tab. You can select any table format. Let's say you select this particular format and my table has headers. Okay, done. So my table has been created. Okay, I will remove this. Uh, filter alt dff alt dff to put a filter alt dff to remove a filter just remember this thing so this is a table which where every time let's say i have to enter 100 rows here so i have to go there and then i have to double click here or f2 so i will say like 0 1 dash 0 1 dash 2021 20, so this is my first date and the city name let's say uh, kanpur then the name let's say sachin and then this code name is Gupta. And then his age is 25. His country is, let's say, India. Which one was successful? No. He came back just like that. What is the customer ID? His customer ID is 100052, something like that. So let's say this I have to do uh, as a manual entry. Now I have to, I, I will tell you about a form that how can you create a form out of it? Data entry form, which is a very simple process. Just focus on this, that you have this particular tab from here, anywhere in the blank side, you have to just right click on that and say, customize the ribbon. So once you click on customize the ribbon, this particular option will open for you. Okay. Then you have to say all commands. I don't know why they have removed the form from there, but this is very important function. So let's say we have to see the form. Where is the form? F O R M. This is the form, right? Now, I have to this uh, give this particular form to the right hand side. I have already added that. Let me remove this first, and then I will do it again. So let's say in your case, you have to select this particular form, then come here, 
select this insert button or any tab, home, insert, wherever. Right click and say add new tab. Okay. And then select uh, this particular custom group and say here, you have to select the form and say add. So this form will be added here in the new custom group. Now right click on this and rename this particular tab as form, simple. I said, okay. And I said, okay. Now see, after insert, there is a tab and uh, there is a menu. It has been created and the form is showing here. Again, I'm telling you, don't worry. Customize the ribbon, go there, select all commands and then go to the um, form particular thing which you want to add. That is the form which you have to add and come here, right click on insert, add new tab. Then the new tab will be added as custom. Then you can give rename it as form. And in the new group, you can add that particular form from left to right. Add button is there. So always remember that. Just uh, replay and see that how I did that because I have already done it. Now, if I say, okay, so let's say form is there. Now what I will do, I will select this particular data. Okay. And I say form. See. So it is selecting this particular data. It has created a form for me. So this particular form will help me to fill in a very easy way instead of going there and clicking double click and all. So you can do what thing you can just write new and say, let's say the order date is 01-01-2021 and tab city, city I will say Jaipur, employee, employee name is Virat, he's not playing great man. And then code name, code name is uh, elephant. Okay, and then the age, age is like 32, operational country, country is right now it's England. And mission successful? No, because they have lost the series. What is this customer ID? 141402. Okay. And I will say new again. Because I have to add more records. See, the record has been added automatically. 1 1 2021, Jaipur, Virat, Elephant, 32 England, no, and the customer ID. So every time you have to do the same kind of work, just create this particular form, fill it. And again, I will show you, let's say uh, one more time, 102-02-2021. Tab, city, city, let's say I will give um, Nagpur. Employee, employee name I will give Pant. Code name is Wicket Keeper. Then the age is 28. And operational country is England. Mission successful? No. Customer ID 1002214, whatever you want to give, you can give and say new. See, after Virat, fund record has also been added. And once you want to close this particular tab, you can just close it. Simple. So for data entry, every time you have don't have to go here and type everything. So form will help you in that. How to create a form? Just select this particular range and say form. And the new form will come up. Here, say new because you have to enter the new record. Whatever records you will enter and then say close. So the new record will automatically enter here. Let's say there is some calculation also in the formula. For example, uh, let's say the calculation form, uh, C-A-L-C. Uh, something calculation is there equal to his customer ID uh, into 10. That is his calculation. I have done and it is did for it did for all the rows. So, because you know there is a formula, just drag drop, or otherwise it's a table, it will automatically take if you put the formula in the first row. So I have just multiplied it there, customer ID with the cal. So you can ask me that okay, how can we do this calculation there? So I'm saying that no need to do the calculation. Just select this particular tab and say form and uh, say new. Let's say date 01-01-2021. Tab city name is Jaipur. Then employee name is JJJJ. Code name is 4545. Age is 89. Operational country is India. Mission successful, no. Customer ID 121212, whatever. And then say uh, new. So automatically it will take the multiplication here. Because calculation we are not doing because it's a calculated field. 
So we cannot give the calculated field into the form. So just do the calculation for one first, create a table. If you do not remember how to do that, I will tell you just select this particular range, go to format as table and select any particular format. It will become a table. And once you it become a table, you can do the calculation as well. Once just give the data up to customer ID, it will automatically calculate the calculation for you. So this is the data entry job which you do means like day to day and uh, it is very cumbersome. In this way, you can add this particular form here. Again, I am telling how to do that. On the blank side, the right, right click on that, customize the ribbon, and in the customize the ribbon, just say all commands and then come down. There are so many formulas in Excel which are hidden, which, are, which they will never tell you that, okay, Zorob, this is the formula which is given here. So always remember that this ribbon will help you to do that. This is the data entry form. Let's say you are working in a, uh, you are running a school and you have to entry like every day, new students are coming and again, you have to go there and do this. So instead of doing that, just select this particular range, go to form, click on the form and say new and then fill. So this will be easy because tab, 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 you can see everything in one row. Let's say you have only eight columns here. Tomorrow, let's say you have 500 columns in a particular Excel sheet. Then it is easy for you to, instead of going, uh, let's say instead of going up to on the right or hand side of this Excel sheet, if you go, uh, if you create this particular form, then you have to just drag and drop the thing, let's say here, and then this this particular, you know, tab will take you here. Just drag and drop, simple. Let's say 500 columns are there, you can fill. All the spreaders will be here. It is easy to fill. And then the tab, press, uh, press the tab and uh, do this job. So I hope that you guys uh, like this video. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. And let me know if you have any queries regarding this particular form. This form is very useful in um, you know data entry job when you do that, or you're running a school, or you're doing a daily entry for any record. So this this will help you there for sure. So guys, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. I am going to uh, teach you a lot of things here, which are very simple, which are already there in Excel. Maybe next to next week, we'll start Python. Python is an important language and people are, okay, today there is one exercise for you guys. Just go and uh, instead of downloading the Python, start it in the Google, uh, Google Colab. Google Colab, Python. So uh, just do some Google about it. You don't have to install the Python in your machine. You can directly do it there by using your Gmail. So this is the one tip which I just want to give you. Uh, keep watching, keep liking, and keep sharing my channel. I'm going to add more meaningful videos into that, which will make your life easier. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Enjoy, guys.